This is Enrico Schaefer from DroneLaw.pro and TraverseLegal.com, your resource for legal information and advice on commercial and recreational use of drones. Today on five things you need to know, uh, we're going to be talking about drone law. You need to know the, the very first thing that we want you to understand. Number one is you cannot take pictures or video using drones for business purposes without a Section 333 exemption from the FAA. What does that mean? It means that if you want to use uh, a drone to capture video or data or pictures for your real estate business or to service real estate clients or agriculture or to sell photos, if you've got any commercial purpose, the FAA basically says you cannot fly for business purpose unless you have a Section 333 exemption. So if you want to fly for business, you have to go through the FAA process of getting a Section 330 exemption, getting permission from the FAA to get out there and start flying right now. Number two, lawful use of drones by businesses in film and movies, real estate, agriculture, search and rescue, inspections. These things are going to explode over the next five years. Drone use is going to explode over the next five years. So uh, this market is emerging, but it's going to be a very big market. And there's lots of great things that you can do with drones for business, for safety, for rescue, for government purposes, and they're going to they're going to be adopted because the the value proposition of using a drone uh, to go out and and monitor a traffic scene versus three or four police cars is going to be a huge cost savings. The ability to use a drone to image your crops to be able to see how your crops are doing day in and day out, how healthy they are, using a variety of different um, uh, special cameras to get that information is going to allow farmers to be more productive. It's going to be a tremendous return on investment there. To use uh, to use a camera for something like real estate, which uh, it's just as simple as capturing a picture or video that speaks a thousand words, right? If you get a great shot of someone's home or their entire property by, by video, by drone, that use is going to re reveal tremendous return on investment because it's going to help the homeowner and the real estate broker and the real estate agent sell that house, right? Uh, the curb appeal from the sky is going to be huge. So there's going to be a tremendous value to drones and businesses are going to implement drones for a variety of purposes and the return on investment is going to be tremendous. Okay, so the third thing that you need to know about drone law is that obtaining a section 330 exemption, 333 exemption right now will put you at a huge advantage over your competitors. And so let's get some context here. The FAA right now is finalizing its rules. It's put out uh, its notice of proposed rulemaking for commercial use of drones. So there are rules out there that they've developed. The comment period for those rules is over and the FAA is analyzing all of this and at some point there's going to be final rules for drone use uh, that are going to be captured as regulations that are going to be overseen by the FAA, right? But until those regulations are done, you can't fly for commercial purposes. Okay? You have to wait for those regulations to be done in order to know what it is you're going to comply with. Unless, unless, point number three, you get a Section 333 exemption from the FAA during this interim period of rulemaking, which allows you to start flying right now. So the third thing I want you to know today is that obtaining a Section 333 exemption is going to put you at a huge advantage over your competitors who either, one, wait, or two, rely on vendors to provide them with drone-related services and photography and video and data collection, right? So that's the other thing. You could go out and wait for someone else to call you up and say, hey, we'll charge you a couple thousand dollars uh, if you want to hire us to get some uh, drone video or, or uh, pictorial footage, 
but why not do it yourself? The way the Section 333 exemption uh, is set up, you can start using that exemption that the FAA grants you. You can go out and hire a pilot. You can handle it all internally. You're going to have a huge cost saving over relying on vendors to provide that service. Okay, number four thing you need to know. Number four. It could take years before the FAA finishes its regulations for commercial drone use. Right now, there, it is expected that in the next 12 to 18 months, the FAA may make a decision on the, the proposed rules that it has out there for commercial drone use. But if they make changes, they could start the process all over again. If there are significant changes to the rules that they've proposed based on public comment or things that are actually happening out there in the real world that they haven't accounted for, then they're going to have to start from scratch and go through the rulemaking, administrative rulemaking process. That's going to take years. So getting a 333 exemption right now and starting to use drones for your business right now, again, is going to put you in a really strong position in terms of market and in terms of competitors. The fifth thing I want you to know today is that even if you use your drone for recreational purposes, you can still get in trouble with the FAA if you fly recklessly. So right now the way that the rules work is that you cannot fly for commercial or business purpose without a Section 333 petition and exemption. You can fly right now for recreational purposes, as long as you're not trying to make money, as long as you are not don't have a business or commercial interest in the drone flight, uh, you're not trying to sell the videos or use the videos to, to, to promote your business, right? Then you could go ahead and fly recreational as a, as a hobbyist, okay? You could do that right now, but just because the FAA allows recreational drone use right now doesn't mean there are no rules. There are rules. Safety first. You need to think safety. So here are some of the things that you need to know about recreational drone use. One is you should not be flying over people or crowds. You shouldn't fly over anyone that's not related to your flight, that, is a, that isn't part of your flight. The other thing is you should be checking the weather. You should not fly uh, near, near power lines. You certainly should not fly above 200 feet or so, uh, certainly not by airports. Uh, you should make sure that the person who is flying the, the craft has experience and that they always have the unmanned vehicle in their sight. That is to say, you should fly within line of sight meaning you could always see the drone. Don't go behind trees, don't go behind uh, houses, don't go so far away that you cannot see the drone. The only way for you to keep the drone from hitting something else or hitting someone else is to make sure that you can see it at all times. So those are five things you need to know about drone use for today. This is a drone attorney, Enrico Schaefer, and we'll see you next time.